What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about a topic that you might not even realize is a thing and that's coder's block. Now we've all heard about writer's block. That's when someone who writes for a living is for one reason or another having difficulty sitting down and writing their story. It doesn't matter if you have 10 books under your belt or 20 books under your belt or even if you're a New York Times bestseller. Writer's block happens to even some of the best writers out there. And the same is true for coders. You could have 10 years of experience under your belt. You can know the syntax of your coding language inside and out. And while some days you might be able to sit at your computer or your laptop and just code out a program within a couple of hours or a day, there are those times where, for whatever reason, you just can't get it done. It seems like you might have forgotten how to code. Now why does this happen? I mean, if you know the syntax of your coding language, if you have years of experience, shouldn't you be able to just sit down at the computer and just get it done? Theoretically, yes. But we're not programmed like that. Some days we could be in the zone and some days we can be completely out of it. So I want to share with you some tips on how you can actually get over that coders block. Whether it's something that's happening to you temporarily or maybe it's taking you off your game for like a week or so. So whenever I don't feel in the zone or I feel like I just can't code for whatever reason, one of the things I like to do is I like to play music because music can help you get focused. It could drown out distractions that might be happening around you and you could develop a rhythm that can really help you in terms of coding. So I'm going to cue some music right now. Now does it matter what type of music you listen to? Well it depends on your taste. One thing I like is to listen to music that doesn't have words because if there's words often you're going to try to sing along with it and that can kind of be distracting as well. But you can find a bunch of music that has no words but is very energetic, uplifting and can help you through your coding session. So that's one thing you could do. You could turn that music up. Now if you've already tried that and you for some reason cannot start coding even after 10-20 minutes of blasting your favorite songs, what can you do next? Maybe you just got to get up. Sitting in front of a computer all day long, that can kind of sap the creativity out of you. And you might be thinking, well, maybe I'm not a designer, I'm a developer, I work on back-end code, not front-end code. So the code I create is a little bit more logical in nature, not creative in nature. Well, that's a falsehood because even if you're working on code that nobody will see on the front end, you still have to have some level of creativity in order to ensure that the code you're writing is going to be efficient, effective, optimized, and tackle the project that you're working on. So creativity is not just for the artists or the designers out there, it's even for the back-end coders. So if you got to get up from your desk, if you got to go outside to get some fresh air, maybe now's the time to do that. You know, put on your sneakers, go outside, catch up with some friends, maybe have some lunch and change up your environment. You'll be surprised how even just 30 minutes can change your whole entire mindset. Now the next tip that I'm going to mention is something that a lot of people swear by. I swear by it. But there's also a school of thought that it might not be the greatest tactic and that's drink more coffee. You know, coffee's stimulating and coffee has a way of sharpening your mind. It can really help you focus in that time of need. Hence why when people are studying for an exam or if they're getting ready to do something that requires a significant amount of brain power, coffee is their go-to because coffee can help you get the job done. But then there's some people who say that coffee is actually not that good for you or maybe you're drinking too much coffee. And every time you sit down at that computer, you're getting right back up to run to the bathroom because you just got to release. So I'm of the belief that coffee is actually good for you. But of course in moderation. You don't want to overdo it, you don't want to have too much. But if you're feeling sluggish, if you don't feel motivated, or you feel out of focus, then you know what? Get a cup of coffee. And now that segues into my next tip. Maybe the reason why you feel sluggish or you feel out of focus is because you're not getting enough sleep. That happens to me all the time. And this happens because sometimes the best time to code is late at night. But then you want to hang out during the daytime, you want to hang out with your family, you want to hang out with friends. There are things that you want to get done. And sleep isn't always a priority. But lack of sleep can definitely have a detrimental impact on your ability to focus. It can limit your creativity and just makes you sometimes feel down and out. So maybe you just gotta get more sleep. If that's the case, you know what? Close the computer, turn off the lights, go to bed, take a nap. Now if you've already played music and you're still not able to code for some reason or another, if you've been drinking your coffee and that just doesn't seem to be enough, and if you're getting good sleep but for whatever reason you're still not able to sit down at that laptop or that computer and code out the project you're working on, what else can you do? Well remember when I said earlier that maybe you just have to change your environment? Maybe besides going out for a walk or going out to meet up with friends, 
Maybe you got to go to the gym or go to the park and run around the track. Now in other videos, I talk about how I sit down at a computer for hours on end, whether it's coding a new uh, WordPress theme, blogging on my website, pixelweb.com, or creating videos for YouTube, sitting down at a desk all day long. Now that's just not good for you. So you gotta get some exercise, you gotta get your body moving, you gotta get the blood flowing. Maybe you take 10 minutes in the morning just to do some cardio. One thing I like to do is I have a pull-up station right within my door frame. So whenever I can, I do some pull-ups and I do some push-ups as well. Either way, the goal is to get some physical activity and to get the blood flowing. So hopefully you'll be reinvigorated. Now this next tip is a little bit different. You know, we live in a very fast paced world. We have YouTube, we have Twitter, we have Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and all the other social media websites. We're always on our phone, we're checking our text messages, checking our emails, and we seem to always be on the go. What we don't always have is time to think and time to meditate. Now maybe you don't have time for a one hour meditation. That's something I don't have time for. But taking a few minutes here and there throughout the day just to sit in quiet can actually help center your mind. Whether it's for five or 10 minutes throughout the day just drowning out all the noise around you. Putting your phone on do not disturb mode. Powering down your computer and just meditating or just being one with yourself. Now yeah, there's definitely gonna be a joke here and there, so I can't wait to see the comment section down below. But the reality is, not a bad idea to tune out the world if you can. Now if Coders Block has been impacting you for more than just a couple of hours or more than just a day, maybe you gotta take a vacation. If you've been working on a huge project for the past couple of months and you've been working seven days a week non-stop, then now's the time to unplug. Now if you can afford it, book a trip to a tropical island. Hang out on the beach, relax, get some sun. Leave your phone in the hotel room, leave your laptop in the hotel room, and just be completely unplugged even if it's just for a couple of days. Now if you're not going to travel far, then be a tourist within your own city or state. Go out there with your camera, take some pictures, pretend to be an out of town do that for a few days while being unplugged from your typical day to day and that should help you get back on track and now my last tip is this maybe we're just getting too comfortable we're not really programmed or wired to work 24 7 but if you have a deadline coming up or if you're working on a very important project and all of a sudden your face with code is blocked maybe you just got to push right through it because your mind your brain is a very interesting tool somewhere in back there there will be a trigger meaning that if you face code is blocked and you all of a sudden just take a vacation then that becomes a reward your brain will just slow down shut down because it wants to rest and your subconscious might work against you and say you know what let's just get away but you can't always do that so power through it put on your music drink your coffee get some exercise in sit down at your computer and just get it done Maybe look at refactoring some of your code. Maybe do a little map of what you're looking to accomplish with your program or your software. Try to see if there's anywhere where you can refactor the code to make it more efficient, more optimized, or maybe there's a different way to get the task done. The idea is for this tip, just don't stop working. Coding is hard. It's one of the hardest things that a person can ever try to learn to do. You know, most people have a very tough time learning another language. And I'm talking about maybe learning how to speak Spanish or Italian or French or any other language. That's hard enough. And those are spoken languages where you can communicate with just about anybody as long as they know how to speak that language. Coding is different. You don't go up to somebody and say, you know, lesser than symbol, question mark, PHP, echo, uh, single quotation marks, this is my attempt to make a string, closing uh, quotation marks, semicolon, and then question mark, and then greater than symbol. You don't speak to people like that. And even if you're working in a team, coding is a very solitary act. So it's difficult, it's hard, and sometimes it could be kind of lonely. That'll happen to everybody, it'll happen to the new coders and the seasoned coders alike. But if you're facing coders block, you have a bunch of options and how to power through. All right, so here's your chance to sound off. If you've ever had coders block, what have you done to try to get over it? What worked for you, what didn't work for you, and what suggestions do you have? Leave them down in the comment section below. All right, so that's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, you know what you gotta do. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that way whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. And if you want to learn how to code a WordPress theme, check out the videos I have on WordPress theme development. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.